Hi, I am Pindi here. In this video, I am going to draw a beautiful picture of a sunset with amazing reflection of sun on the sea water and coconut trees on the foreground. I hope there will be fun watching this demonstration with poster color and if you enjoy this painting, please hit the like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Let's show you how I have prepared before starting the painting. I have taken a 10 15 inch size normal art paper and I like to mask the edge of the paper with masking tape. For this painting, I have taken poster red, vermilion hue, lemon yellow, chrome yellow, yellow walker, cobalt blue, white and black color. I have kept all the required colors on the palette before starting the painting. I like to keep the lighter colors away from the darker colors in the palette as I am doing here. And I like to take water differently in different bowls or glass for washing and mixing the colors. Here is it. Here I am dividing the paper with a masking tape. It helps to keep sharp line between the sky and sea. Here I go. After painting the sky, I will remove this mask and it will keep a very sharp line between the sky and the sea and it will help to draw the sea easily. I am using lemon yellow with a soft brush. Painting with poster color is not as easy as the oil color, though both are opaque and can be applied multiple layers. Though the color dries very quickly, unlike oil color and comparatively with the acrylic, that's why I am very quick here. Moreover, I have increased the speed during editing to reduce the bonus while watching the same process again and again. Here I am using cobalt blue for the upper side of the sky. During blending two colors, it must be noticed that the depth of the color should be same. If more water is used, the background color may be lifted off from the face and makes your painting messy. On the bottom of the sky, I am using vermilion hue mixing with a little bit of chrome yellow and blending it nicely with the background colors. Here I have used a bristle brush to blend the colors. Here I am using a dark color, mixing with cobalt blue and vermilion hue. See how easily I am using the dark color on the edge of the sky due to the masking tape which prevents the color to go onto the place where I will apply another color. Here the sky looks like a little bit messy but after drying it will be okay. Now I will remove the mask, yes, see how clear the edge is. Here I am using cobalt blue for the sea. Now I am using white and little bit red to get the pink color. I am using it to get the reflection of the sky. I am using a bristle brush to mix it with the softer touches. See? Nicely. The touches must be soft so that the background color should not lift off from the page for the reflection of sun I am using pure white with soft touches and on the line I am using yellow and blending it nicely with the white color
I'm also using a line brush for thin lines on the reflection to make it more realistic. Here you go. This is the coconut trees. I'm mixing vermilion hue and cobalt blue to get this darker color. At first, I'm giving the lines. Now I'm using vermilion hue for the edges where the sunlight falls. Here it is. Okay. And then giving the leaves of the coconut tree. Here I'm using black color with a line brush to get more dark shapes on the trees. It is always noticeable that during the sunset, always the back sides of the tree or other object remains darker it is probably a small island where some trees probably the coconut trees which helps to increase the beauty of the painting This is the reflection of this island or these trees. I am using here black, mixing with a little bit red. Now I'm giving some final touches to the painting with a small brush showing the highlights and I'm using pure white to highlight the sun and to show some side behind the clouds. To stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and feel free to comment if you have any queries regarding this video. Thanks for watching.